Blender Solid Viewport is somehow boring the first time you take a look at it. And if you're modeling with it, you will notice that faces are faded together and things are not that clear. However, there's an option to fix that, and it's called Cavity. Once you enable Cavity, you will see a more clear faces in the viewport. Cavity also have some settings under it. The type on the right have three options, and the default screen one is probably the best. You also have the ridge and valley sliders. Those will control both the whiteness and blackness of the cavity. Now the question is, can we render this? And the short answer is, no, you can't. But there's some alternative methods. First one is the viewport render. You can find this option in the view menu, and this will render the camera view in a quality of six or eight render samples, so not that of a render and more of a screenshot. The same thing can be done with the Workbench Render Engine. And once you switch to it, you will find the same cavity settings down in the render properties. There you can up the render to about 32 samples. Still not that great. We can also use nodes to mimic the cavity. We do that mainly with the bevel node. So with a new material, add a vector math node and put it on dot product type. Then plug to the vector math both a geometry normal and a bevel normal. After that, we need a mix color node along with a color ramp. And now we have three things to control. The mesh color from the mix, the cavity area with the ramp node, and its spread with the bevel radius. This won't give you the exact same result as in the viewport cavity, but something like it. The last and easiest method to do cavity is with the use of add-ons. And this free add-on can do the work for you. The link for it is in the description. So, have fun. And that's it. Like and share if you care. And see you in another video. Stay sharp, guys. Goodbye.